What's happening Achievers? Ajit Sidhu here from Invincible Achievers. Let's talk about being part of a team. Being part of a team, what does it mean to be part of a team? Now, being part of a team is building relationships with the people around you. Now this can be with work colleagues, it could be with family, it could be with your partner, it could be with your children. That is building a team. It's the same principles that you use at work that you will use in all those areas. So when you're building a relationship with your partner, your family, your colleagues, this is so important because without them, there's no point in having a life. Just imagine being on an island by yourself with a coconut or a ball as a face that you have to speak to. It's no fun. Now, building relationships makes life fun. It makes the reasons why we do things possible. It gives us the reasons to do what we do. Well, the reasons why we want to achieve what we want to achieve. So showing that you care for others is so crucial. And this is some, something that we sometimes shy away from. We think, oh, that's cool. They know what they know. What we do. They know. My children know that they, I love them. No, you got to tell them. You got to tell them that I love you. You got to give them a hug. So you got to be there for them. You got to get down to the level when you're speaking to your wife or partner. You need to speak with respect, care and compassion, understanding. When you're speaking to your colleagues, give them a high five or give them a hug if, you're, if you are close. Just let them know that they are there with you and in your life and they, you appreciate them being there. Showing gratitude is key. Just saying thank you. Now, sorry might be the hardest words that we can say. Thank you is the most powerful words that we can say. Thank you is something that when you say, say it to someone, you just release a massive amount, a surge of energy in your body. But not only that, it con con conveys a cross because you are being grateful. You, you're saying thank you. You're saying thank you to the person that's in your life. Because without them, like I said, you could be on an island with a coconut or a ball, you know, with a, with a little face just talking and no one talking back to you. They make your life fun. Now, just going on about showing gratitude, uh, my, my youngest son, who is four years old, he, him and his older brother, who's seven, they got a lot, it was last year, they got these little teddy bears. They were, it was called a little love bug. We bought them both each. A little love bug so they won't argue. Um, we have to always buy two things. Um, so we bought those two, th two little love bugs and my youngest son lost his love bug and he always saw his elder brother having this little love bug, hugging this love bug and this really upset my youngest son. And so for the past week, two weeks or three weeks, he's been going on about this. I want this love bug. I need this love bug. I miss this love bug. Where is this love, love, love bug? Daddy, Click your fingers, do magic. Daddy, click your fingers, do magic, bring it. And I'm saying, son, my magic is so low. I can't click my fingers because I can't see it. So maybe, you know, we'll, uh, we'll wait. Maybe it'll, it'll come. I searched the internet for it so I can click my fingers and make it appear, but I couldn't find it. Well, today, my son was walking down the, the, the stairs the, the three-year-old, he walked in, and my eldest son, he was in the living room with me this morning, and he pulled something out and he hid it behind his back. And he said to his younger brother, which hand? And my, uh, my youngest son said, oh, that one. And he popped his hand and said, nothing there. He goes, which hand? And my son said, oh, the other one. And my son pulled it out, his own love bug that he cared for and he was going to give it to his younger brother. And I saw this and I got full of emotion, full of gratitude. And I, my, I, I, I actually welled up with my tears in my, I had tears in my eyes and I looked at both of them and the youngest son said, I love it. And he quickly grabbed it and nestled into my wife because he was also teary and my, my eldest son, he had a huge smile on his face. He got his jacket on. He was very proud of him himself. And it was just such a loving moment, but it just showed the gratitude and the care that they had for each, each other. Now, no one prompted my eldest son, who's seven, to go and give this love bug. He just did it.
from the kindness of his heart, from the love and the warmth. And that is what was seen. Now, they always say, when you give, you get. That's so true. The physical world is so true. But also people are watching, people hear about these stories. When you do something in your company, for instance, that you just go out of your way just to do something for someone out of the kindness of your heart, they tell other people and they all come flocking to you. Just like this moment with my sons, I was watching, my wife was watching, next time my eldest son wants something, he's gonna get it because I wanna give it to him. And I've actually promised them, I said, guys, we're going to build a bear this weekend. Yeah, because I was just so full of love. And my wife was like, what are you doing? Build a bear so expensive. And I was like, yeah, build a bear. Anyway, so the showing gratitude for each other is massively important. It's just a way of communicating to each other to say thank you for the person to, for being there, but also releasing these, these amazing emotions within you, emotions of love, endorphins that flow through your body. As, um, and you can do that to anyone, anyone. You can say it to your work colleagues, your, your family, your parents, your children. It's just a, a, a sign of saying thank you with, with emotion. Now, what makes a team and a family is the reasons why you're together. Now this is crucial because when you, when you have the same mindset and the same end goals as each other, then you become a team, a family. You, you're a team and you're together. You're walking together, you know why you're doing stuff. It's when one, when one member wants something completely different and then the other one wants something different and that's where you start drifting away from each other. So that's, what, why, that's why it's so important to communicate with your family, to find out what's going on in your life. How's things going? Um, so knowing the mission, there's always a mission, there's always an end goal, there's always an outcome that you're trying to achieve, small outcomes and big outcomes together. But conveying it to each other builds a connection. That communication that you have builds a connection with each other. And then you're holding hands and walking in unison together. So like, for instance, I mean, what is the mission? Maybe the mission could be to have unity and love. Maybe creating memorable moments for each other. Maybe it's serving others to the most unique and higher standards. That could be an, a, a mission. It could be to challenge and inspire each other. It could be to teach and learn through fun and play. Because at the end of the day, if you do not know your mission or your achievements and you don't communicate with each other it's like playing a game of football and you're, you've got your team but you haven't told each other where the goal is or you don't even know where the goal is so if you don't know where you are or what you're doing what your missions are what your outcomes are you're just playing football or playing basketball without knowing where the goals or the hoops are you've got to know why you're there together because that will grow stronger and stronger just like the seeds that are planted in the soil and the soil outcomes a plant, a small plant and it grows into a huge oak tree and that is the foundation of why you are together, why you're moving together and communication, telling each other is what bonds that connection together. So. Working together in unison, that builds a team. So in, at work we do that. How do you move it from a team to a family atmosphere? Now, even in your own house, sometimes there's conflicts. But how do you make it a big connection? Now, one key is communication, talking. If there is any differences, we sit down and talk. Sometimes we find that to be very hard. I don't feel like talking to that person. I, I shouldn't talk to that person. But through communication is where resolution happens. When there's world war happening and there's two countries that are fighting with each other, the only way it's resolved is not throwing bombs at each other. It's coming together in a room and sitting down and talking. So that is the secret of overcoming any conflict that there may, may be. However, there's other, th other aspects that you can actually move together, maybe respecting each other, showing respect. Not only are you showing respect for the other person, but you are showing respect for yourself by allowing kind words to come out of your mouth. 
Don't let foul language and horribleness and anger roll off your tongue, poisoning your mouth, making it all black. It's coming out of you and being transferred to someone else. So that is where we want to be kind to ourselves, treat ourselves nice as well. So through the communication, respecting each other is, is crucial uh, for one another. Um, caring for each other, being there for each other, showing gratitude, saying I love you. Because every action all stems from within you first. So whenever you give an act of kindness, an act of respect, an act of love, you first give it to yourself because you are the master painter. You are the one that is the creator because it's coming out from you. The thank you, the I love you, it originates from within you. And then the replication is sent over to the person that you are trying to convey that message. Now, what we have to remember, guys, is when we know this and when we do this, we know the outcome. We're working together. We respect each other. We know how each other work. We know how each other move. Almost like an army, how they defend each other, protect each other. They're together. They know the outcome. They know what they need to do. It's almost like the end goal is an island an island that you would like to take. And the only way you're gonna take it is your entire family, the people that are in proximity around you. Proximity is power. You're all within the same boat. You have to all be in the same boat. If one person or two people in your team are standing outside or swimming out, flaring their hands in the water or going for a little swim, saying, I like this water, and not focused on the island, then you really need to think, are they the ones that need to be in proximity to you? So you can either pull them back onto the boat and help them out or tell them to get on a different boat because they don't have the same goal as you. So once you have the same goals and the same alignment, same respect, care, compassion, that is just like being on a boat and you're going to take over the island. And once you get to the island, what makes a family? is you all turn around and you burn the boats, knowing that the only outcome you have is to take over the island together. So guys, keep spreading love to each other, show love to each other, tell each other you love each other, keep adding value to each other's lives, work together in unison, and just know that I love you too, guys. One idea, we can change the future. See you later. Bye.